What's up guys, welcome back and in this video we're going to be creating a leveling bot for your discord server. So the first thing we need to do before we actually start is install our library. We're going to be installing vacafron.py. This is basically a simple wrapper um, which allows us to create these um, fancy little cards for our leveling bot. So basically go into your terminal and write in pip install vacafron.py and it should install it for you. Then at the top let's just import us to import. Let's do import Vacafron. We also need to import ourselves math and we also need to import ourselves random and lastly import SQLite. The reason we need um, three of these variables is because math will be um, to do with the equation we'll be using for leveling up. Random is because we need to do a random choice, so, so it's not guaranteed that the user will receive, let's say, XP every time we actually send the message to basically limit it. And then lastly, SQLite because we're going to be using a database today to store people's data. So let's once again just create a database, put database.sqlite, determine the cursor, and then do cursor execute create tables if not exist. And let me just do this real quick. And inside here, we're going to have user underscore ID set as an integer, guild underscore ID set as an experience level, and then lastly, um, last level and set that as an integer basically we need this one because we'll be comparing this with this and if it's if this is lower than this then that means the user has leveled up so now if we're going to run the bot so let's do that real quick we can see a new database file has been created and if we're actually going to reload the database there we go we've got now five different fields in our database we could use however at the moment it's very empty there's nothing in the database so let's add some stuff so to do that we're going to go into our class and we're going to create a new listener we're going to call this on message so every time the message gets sent this will run and the first thing we need to actually check if the author of the message is a bot if it is a bot then we're going to return the function because we don't want to give the xp to a bot since that doesn't really make any sense so the next check we need to do is actually fetch the user from the database so today we're going to do cursor.execute select user id guild id experience level last level from levels where user id is equals to this and guild id is equals to this I did make a tutorial on how to use SQLite databases, so if you just click on the thing top right, you should be able to basically look through the video and get familiar with it if you haven't used SQLite before. Basically, now we're going to do a lower if statement, so if, and actually no, before we do an if statement, we need to actually put result equals cursor.fetch1, and then if result is done, basically if the object doesn't exist in the database, we're going to add it to the database. So to do that, we're going to do cursor.execute. And here we're going to do F insert into level, so basically insert some data into the database, values, author ID, the guild ID, and then the experience, which is going to be 0, 0, and 0. Everything's going to be 0 here. So this is the experience, this is the level, and this is the last level. So basically, if we don't exist in the database, we are going to create a new entry. And then we basically commit the changes. However, if we do exist in a database, we are going to basically add some experience to our user. So to do this, we basically need to first declare some variables. First one being the experience. So the experience is going to basically be result and then index two, since this is where our experience is saved over here. Next, we need to do the level. So that's going to be result index three. Then last level, index four. And I think that's basically all we need for now. Now we need to actually create a value for how much experience we have earned. So we're going to do um, experience gained is equals to random the randint and we're going to do 1 to 20, so I'm about here, which is the sweet spot. And then we're going to do experience, um, add experience plus xp gain, so we're basically adding on top of the experience variable. Now we need to actually calculate the current level the user is, the user has, shall I say. So to do that, we're going to basically do level is equals to 0.1 times math the square root of experience so what we're going to be doing next is going to be actually executing a new um, sqlite command and this time we're actually going to be updating our database so we are setting the experience to be the experience that we just earned the level over here and and then here's where user angular is basically it finds the query we need and let's just comment the changes real quick 
So now every time I use a sense of message and they are in the database, this will run and calculate the levels. Next, we actually need to also check if the user has levels up or not, which is pretty simple to do. So to do that, we're basically going to do is if level, if integer level is bigger than last level, and I think, um, yeah, it's going to be last level, not level, last level then um, that means we have leveled up so we're going to do await interaction message dot channel message how do you channel dot send message dot author mention has leveled up to level and then it gives you the level down here and then we also have to update the database to update the last level variable down here but to do that we're just going to do cursor dot execute update level set last level set this to this and then this is just, as usual, just try, tries to find the query. Let's just save our changes and we should be done with our command now. So this will basically now work out the levels for the users. So let's just refresh our bot real quick. So now we can actually showcase if the bot actually works. Let's just put some messages randomly in the channel. And if we just go to our database, connect and refresh it. There we go, we have been added to the database. As you can see, this is our user ID, our guild ID, and our level statistics. Now, if we write something once again, this should decrease. There we go, we've got nine experience from that. And this is our level. We are right now on 0.3. So basically, every time it hits a whole number, like one, two, three, or four, that is our level. So right now, we gained nine experience. If I write once again, it is going to give us 0.5. Write again. 0.6 and then if we just write a couple more times one more time there we go Zabba Wolfie has leveled up to level one so now if we just refresh the bot once again this is our current level since this is bigger than this we have leveled up and here is our experience obviously um you can change up the numbers for the constants there we go this does have to be 0.1 it can be anything once again i'm going to say just read through this website it's very very helpful with setting up your experience and it basically tells you a lot. You can even use the base system, which is 0.07, which I didn't really use because it takes a long time to level up. Other than that, now we need to create a command, which is basically show up our current rank. So back to the coding, let's create a new command and let's call this and actually put this into next call or slash command. Slash command, there we go. Call this rank. We don't need the member variable, even though we can, but we're not going to. And this will be interaction, set this as a next god dot interaction. So the first thing we're going to be doing is if rank is equals to 1. We're going to be creating a variable called rank. Why, you might ask? Well, if we go back to our Discord server, you can see this thing over here where it says hashtag 2. This is going to be our rank on the server. And what we're going to basically be doing is we're going to get list of users in that specific guild. We're going to look through it and every time we loop we're going to increase this rank by one and that will determine the user's rank so to do that we first need to obviously grab some data from the database so to do this we're going to basically do descending is equals to select everything from levels where guild id is equals to this so basically we're going to be selecting every single piece of data in the database if it has the guild id we are looking for then we're going to do cursor dot execute descending interaction with id and then we're going to do result is equals to cursor dot fetch. So we're basically fetching everything in it. Then we're going to do a follow up so for, for i in range len dot result. So here we're basically comparing index zero, which is the user ID, with the user ID of this interaction. If it equals to that, then we're basically going to break out of here and we're going to get our rank. However, if the we don't find the user ID, it is going to go to the else. It's going to append the rank by one and then it's going to repeat the for loop until we find the user. And this way we're going to make a ranking system. So when we actually find the user we're looking for and we get the rank for it, we're now going to create a new execution for the database. But this time we're selecting every single data we will need, including the experience, the level and the last level with the user ID of this command. And then we're going to fetch it once. And then once again, just do level. This equals to result one, XP is equals to result zero, which is actually not true because this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be three, this is supposed to be two, zero, one, two, and then we also need the last level, which is the zero, which is the fourth one, which is correct. 
And now we're going to create a new variable, we're going to call next level XP, basically calculating the amount of XP we will need to reach the next level. And this time we're going to be using the opposite command, I mean opposite equation we used last time. So instead of working out the level, we're going to be using, we're going to be working out the XP using the equation down here. Level divided by 0.07 and then just square it. So just do this over here. So int level plus 1 divided by 0.1 squared. And the reason we're doing plus one here is because our current level, but we need to work out the next level, so we just plus it by one, which makes everything way more simpler. And then lastly, just set it as an integer as a whole number, because we don't want any um, floats in here. And then lastly, we're actually going to be going into the creation of the cards I was talking about in the beginning, which are these ones. So to do that, I'm going to do rank card because rank front dot rank card. And you could actually find the Wikipedia for this somewhere um, do, 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 that docs here if you just go down here and I think if you scroll down to the bottom you actually get basically this just copy and paste it you can take you get basically copy and paste all this into here so I can just do this so now the username is obviously going to be um, interaction the user the display name the avatar URL is actually pretty simple it's just interaction the user dot avatar dot url the current xp is going to be experience the next level xp is going to be next level experience previous level xp you can keep this to zero and then level is just going to be int level as a whole number and then rank is just going to be rank and then we're just going to do card equals away back of front dot client rank card dot rank basically this creates the card for us it sends an API request and then lastly we're just going to send the URL of the card to show us an image. So now if we just shift, so now if we just reload the bot once more, go back into here, write a bit more messages which should update the bot, there we go 1.1 and actually do slash rank this time. Just wait a bit, I hope we didn't get any errors. We did get an error. Tuplex index out of range. Interesting. Okay, actually, I'm really retarded. I just realized this was originally correct. Is because um, I assumed it was from the database, but actually from here. So there's going to be zero. Experience is actually going to be zero. The level is going to be one, and the last level is going to be two. So now it should theoretically work. My bad for doing that. And now if you're going to do rank once again, it should work. There we go. Leveling bot. And it creates this little GIF. We are 121 XP out of 400 to level up. And if we do go here, we do have 121 XP. And if I do write a bit more, there we go. We have leveled up to level two. So we should have 400 XP and level two here. So we can now do slash rank once again. There we go. It's updated. It has, we are now 407 out of 900 XP to level up. We are level two and we are basically first in the ranking system. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. We have created a simple leveling bot. You can expand, customize as much as you want. Like once again, the numbers I used in this equation can be customized as much as you want. You don't even have to square root. You can like you know cube it if you want. I'm um, just read the just read this website and just learn about it. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Join my Discord really. Um, if you need any help. But other than that, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.